What's up, guys? Ray B, Sport Performance Corrective Exercise and Movement Coach, back again for the Knicks wall. This time to discuss Josh Hart, who was acquired by the Knicks at the trade deadline for Cam Reddish and a couple other pieces. If you want to go back and check out our Cam Reddish breakdown, you can do so at the Knicks wall Science Lab. But as of this recording, Josh Hart has yet to lose a game in a Knicks uniform, and you love to see that. And just Josh Hart being on the Knicks, being Josh Hart, has made a difference. His rebounding, his hustling, his passing, he's even shooting the three now. His plus minus reflects how great he's been when he's on the court. It's utterly fantastic to see. And for me personally, as a mechanics and movement trainer, watching Josh Hart do the things that he's doing so flawlessly is just perfect. The way that he's passing, the way that he's running, the way that he's playing the game just mechanically is beautiful to see. I love seeing beautiful, clean movement, and that's what Josh Hart brings. Let's get to his rebounding, for example, which is great. And dating back to his time in Portland, at only 6'4", he's averaging over 7 rebounds a game, which is great. When you're down there with the big guys, you need to have fantastic core strength. You have to have great body control, right? Proprioception, knowing where your body is in space. And Josh has that, which is fantastic to see. A lot of guys don't have that. Josh does. And because he has that, he's able to create second chance opportunities, open up some fast breaks. And it's in those second chance opportunities, it's in those fast breaks where the Knicks have made tremendous strides and been able to come away with eight straight wins now as of this recording. And the reason that that core strength is so important is because when you're down there with the big guys and you're jumping up trying to grab these boards, they're going to nudge you. And if you're nudged and you turn and you can't control your own body, the open, it opens up the chance for you to land misaligned. It opens up the chance for you to land with your knees caved in. And it could ultimately potentially end up with you coming down with a sprained ankle or a sprained knee. Doesn't really happen to Josh. His body control, his alignment is sensational always. I know how this is going to sound, but Josh Hart makes guys uncomfortable. When he's down low boxing out in a great center of gravity and in great alignment, he's really not making it easy on the other team to grab those rebounds. It's a very difficult thing to do to grab a rebound over a guy who's hunched over low and strong like Josh Hart is. It's almost freaking impossible. And it's that sort of grunt work, the rebounding, the hustling, the fighting through screens, the diving for loose balls that are making Knicks fans fall in love with them. And those are the types of things that make a difference in these games. And that mentality is in everything that Josh Hart does, and I love him for it. That 1990s New York Knicks get out of my way type of ball. If he comes down with an offensive board, great. But if he doesn't, he is going to be in your face, pressing you. He's going to know what you had for lunch. He is absolutely tenacious. He gets after you. He doesn't allow outlet passes. He presses you. He'll die for loose balls. He is doing all of that gritty soldier work that we love him for and that the New York 90 Knicks would absolutely salivate over. And I'm going to tell you right now, to do the things that Josh Hart is doing is not easy on the body by any means. It takes tremendous work in the offseason and in season to be able to do the things that he is doing. He's got to be out there doing core work, leg work, all different types of hit workouts, all different types of explosive workouts. Now, there is a time and a place for squats and deadlifts and bench presses, but I can almost assure you that in his offseason, box jumps, live active game situational type training is being done because we see his motor. His motor is what makes Josh Josh for the most part in my opinion. And watching him be able to do all of those things as a trainer myself, I can almost guarantee you that in the offseason, box jumps, live situational gameplay, side planks, glute bridges, planks are all types of movements and trainings that he is doing. But this style of play, that nitty gritty soldier role, as you know, doesn't come without its risks. There are bodies flying around down there in the paint that at only 6'4", he's going to be a little bit undersized compared to the other people in the paint. Now, having great core strength, having a great center of gravity, having great landing mechanics, force distribution mechanics, absorption mechanics, all of those different types of things that Josh Hart does possess are going to keep him a lot healthier than if he didn't have those obviously, but when you have great mechanics, when you move better, as I always say, you feel better and you play better. And as of this recording, we're riding high. The Knicks are on an eight game winning streak and we're hoping to turn it into nine in the next game. Josh Hart, welcome to New York. I think you're going to fit right in. I love your movement. I love your mechanics. You're an absolute superstar to me personally as a movement and biomechanics coach. I can't wait to see what else you do. For the Knicks wall, I'm Ray B. Remember, when you move better, you feel better. Thanks, guys.